Hello everyone, welcome back. In the last video, we created an empty test case test C01. Now, let's actually start working on this test case by writing our first keyword. Now, Robot Framework is a combination of both internal libraries and external libraries, and there are keywords available in both of these libraries. Now, let's actually look at one of the internal libraries of Robot Framework and one of the major internal libraries is a built-in library. So let's actually see the documentation of this built-in library. And to view that, I'm gonna copy this and paste on Google, Robot Framework built-in library. So the first link over here, built-in robot framework, this is the official documentation of the built-in library. As we can see over here, the scope of the library is global. It's a robot framework standard library and it provides a set of generic keywords needed often. It is mentioned over here that it is imported automatically and thus it's always available. Now this library contains the keywords which we do use in our daily need, such as if you have to evaluate two strings, if you have to provide error messages, if you have to have multiple string comparisons, in the later videos, I'm going to cover a lot of different keywords from this built-in library. But just for this demo test case, let's take an example of one of the keywords should be equal. Now let's actually see in our test case whether this is available by default or not. So I'm going to go back to my test case. Generally, if you have to import a library, we click on the test suites and click add import library. But since this keyword is from the built-in library, I'm just going to directly go over here. I'm just going to increase the size of my grid over here to write the test cases nicely. So I'm just, I'll be just needing the first three columns for this test case. So, okay. Now there's something that Robot Framework provides, which is known as content assistance. What I mean by content assistance is that it provides the list of keywords what it already have and to view that I'm just going to click on the first cell and do control alt and M. So here we can see it provides a list of keywords which is already contained. So I'm going to look for the keyword should be equal. So here we go. We have the keyword should be equal. Now this keyword should be equal. It says the source is a built in library. There are different arguments. There's a first argument, second argument. We can provide a message over here. It provides a complete documentation what this keyword does. It says it fails if the given objects are unequal. Now we haven't covered so far that what are different variables in the robot framework. So for this keyword, I'm just going to take two integer values and compare them and run the test case. So I'm going to select this keyword should be equal. Now I'm just going to give two integer values, let's say four, four. Now an interesting thing to know about here, as we write our test case in the script format, automatically the test case is built in the plain text format over here. You can see it provides TC01, it provides the name of our keyword and the arguments which we have provided to that keyword. Now I'm just going to run this test case and see whether it is actually passed or failed. So I'm going to click run. We have to select over here which test case, but since now we only have one test case, I'm just going to select this and click on start. It says you have unsaved modifications. You want to save all changes and run the test. Yes. So as you can see over here, we have our first test case, which is passed over here. Pass one fails zero. Now, as we can see over here, the robot framework provides a detailed log and a detailed report over here. Let's actually look at the log of this test case. So I'm going to click over log. So it says the test case have been passed. And if you have a complete test execution log for this test case, so I'm going to click over plus icon over here. We can further expand it. So here, as we can see, it provides a very nice detailed explanation of the test case, which we have executed. It says the name of the test case. It says the keyword, which is built. And it also provides the name of the library from this keyword which we have used. So the name of the keyword which you had used was should be equal. It also provides the documentation of this test case over here. So it says it fails if the given objects are unequal. Now since we know that the given objects were equal, the test case have been passed. That's all for this video and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.